Canada or the U.S. and Canada combined? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share it with us today? Um, I think we uh, we're going to uh, make the announcement probably in a week or so uh, because uh, right now we're in the process of uh, understanding when we're going to get the audit uh, financial for 2023, and then we can you know kind of make the announcement about the numbers for the delivery for 2023 and when we're going to announce the results for 2023 and then our expectation for 2024. So uh, just give it, give us a little bit of time to organize ourselves and then we can uh, communicate to the market. And what's coming next for the U.S. Um, is it the VF9 was supposed to come last year, right? Yeah, we'll and see. it hasn't arrived yet. Is the VF9 coming this year? What about then um, the six? way we launch, we always launch in Vietnam first, and then we um, get the market feedback. Um, you know, any issues with software, hardware that come out, because no launches ever in the automotive industry is like perfect, right? So, if, um, so we we need together to see what you know, what might be the issues, and then we can uh, work on the next version before we launch them in other markets. So we use Vietnam markets as a test bed. So it might be 2025 when you have like the four, right? The eight, nine, six, and uh, seven. six and seven. I think it would be this year. So all of them. Really? So that, that's the plan. To have four year. models launched in the U.S. Yes. market at dealer showrooms. Right, and the VF3 would be next year. 2025, and then the pickup also 2025. Pickup for now, we, it's just the concept uh, for now. So we we would like to gather the feedback from all different markets. Uh, I think right now the target is 2026, but let's see. 2026. Uh, but let's see what I could change. It's just the concept cap. But, but you will build a pickup. Uh, that's it the may plan. be different than this one, or it, that's the plan. but you will build a pickup. Okay. Are you guys comfortable that you have enough uh, money, you have enough finances to get through kind of this difficult period, right, where you're spending a lot of money but not making a lot of money? We have spent quite a lot of money in the last few years uh, to get this whole lineup of vehicles, all the products and people. Uh, I think we, um, we've gotten to the stage where we built a very strong foundation. People didn't really see it because we probably we don't talk as much and people don't come to Vietnam or people don't expect that the Vietnamese company had you know, gathered so much momentum. But I think we, we spent a lot of money and we have built a very strong foundation for acceleration this year. That's the goal is to because, uh, we, we build, have sell and then become profitable. Optimize as well. So we, we, uh, this year focus a lot on market expansion and also optimization of the cost, especially the bomb cost. So we have a target of reducing the bomb cost by 40% in two years. So we set that target, we, uh, we're getting, almost getting there with all the initiative and all the, uh, all the plans that we have. So uh, bringing the cost down uh, and uh, expanding to the markets are important for this So right now you've launched in the US and California and then the dealers, Europe? Europe, yes. Sir. You launched yeah, we, uh, the VFA? We, the VFA is coming to the US, uh, to, to Europe. Okay, and then some parts of Asia, right? Uh, in Asia, right. We, um, I mean, other than Vietnam, we getting ready for Indonesia. I mean, Indonesia, Asia, Asia, like Laos, Cambodia, okay. oh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand. So those like ASEAN markets. Oh, and India. 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 Great. Very excited about what you've got. India. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Right now in Vietnam, you're having dealers from the United States actually go to Vietnam. Go to the factory next week. A big group? I think around, uh, around 50. Around 50? Because we keep it you know, in that yeah. level. So EV is different from from internal combustion engine vehicles. For internal combustion engine vehicles, if in the US, people like big, big cars. But if, uh, for EV adoption, people are willing to go smaller. Well, it's the idea that you'd sell it for under $20,000. That's, that's, that's great. Correct. Very excited about what you've got. And then if you get the $7,500 credit on a lease, then the effective price is like twelve five. dollars right. 
How about the factory that will be built in North America, the U.S. factory? It, it, from the time that Minfaz said it would build a factory, very quickly after that, all of the rules changed. Uh, taxes and considerations and uh, domestic content requirements and so forth. Do you remember time when Ben Fett it said, like it looks really oh my gosh, look, you can essentially look what have we got the entire into? thing when you open it? I doubt that you'll say no to that, I'm sure, but it, it does bring about a whole new bunch of uh, requirements to find local suppliers and to source batteries in North America. How is all that going? Is that, that's a very difficult task. So we uh, decided to... Uh uh, have the manufacturing facility in the U.S. in late uh, 2022. Uh -huh. um, yeah, late 2022. No, actually, yeah, 2021. Right. So we started looking, uh, and then like early 2022, we yeah. found the location. I still remember we signed a contract with the governor of uh, North Carolina right. on um, March 29th, I think, 2022. And we, we wanted to have manufacturing facility in the US because we wanted to be closer to the customers, like the uh, you know, experience fast better, and then uh, obviously we're planning on having the supply chain.